I had been very sad that it had taken me this long to get get home, but there were circumstances that just couldn't be changed. So um, um, I've, I've enjoyed it, and even though I've had to work most nights on this proposal, I've still gotten around quite a bit. I, I never never really considered anything like this happening to me, but Tim kind of took that over, um, and it's. It's, it's humbling and it makes me cry and it makes me laugh because I never expected anything like this. I was just coming home. Well, we, we started with not much, so it's very gratifying to see how it's, how it's grown and Octavia's doing a wonderful job there. She took me up to the second floor where they keep all the um, items that are still waiting to be marked and, and put in place. And, I couldn't believe how much stuff was up there. It was just incredible. Things that we would never have thought of having when I started this. Um, so it, it's, it's, it's been very gratifying to see that it's gone on and grown. I, that, that thing set up on that hill for, what, a century, almost. Um, and we always drove past it going to Lynchburg and then when they cut the road through to divide the highway. Uh, none of us could believe it was going to be moved. Um, and I remember the day they moved it. I went over there and watched it. it, was, it was, I was glad Sweetbriar kept it because otherwise it would just have fallen down. And I don't like to see building, old buildings falling down. So. Yeah, the town is absolutely thrilled to be able to write this proclamation and to honor um, Sherry. And um, it just is a privilege to have her back in the town and we are just so thankful for her visiting the town again. We absolutely love that she started the Amherst Museum. It sits right in town, right by the town hall. Um, and I know that at one point it wasn't very, it wasn't, it wasn't visited very frequently, but nowadays we have people making appointments and going through the genealogy books and they really do love our museum and they get a lot of information out of it. The town itself has 2,200 residents in it and I know that even the residents go and visit it, but also we get visitors from other states that come in and visit that museum. It's a, it's a large piece of our culture in, in the town of Amherst. Amherst is my home. Wherever I live, Amherst is still my home.